on the southeastern edge of Iran, is one of the country's economic lifelines. Chabahar port in Sistan, Balochistan province is a hub of activity and unique in one important way. This is the only Iranian entity of its kind that has been spared from American sanctions. A U.S. State Department spokesman told Al Jazeera, After extensive consideration in November 2018, the administration granted a narrow exception to allow a limited number of activities that support the reconstruction and development of Afghanistan, a key U.S. national security interest. The exception provided for the reconstruction and development of Afghanistan and allowed for the operation of Chabahar port in support of these goals. Afghanistan can import fuel and Iranian goods considered vital for humanitarian assistance. But the port also serves other American interests in the region. It's an alternative to Gwadar port in Pakistan, operated by the Chinese. It gives India, a U.S. ally assisting with Afghan reconstruction, access to landlocked Afghanistan. It's also a trade link for India to lucrative markets in Central Asia and beyond. So not only is the port helping the United States rebuild Afghanistan, it's also helping India act as a counterbalance to Chinese and Pakistani influence in the region. For Iran, the port is a vital part of shaping its economic future. One of our major projects in Sistan, Baluchistan province was reviving and using the port of Chabahar. It's still undergoing development. Sistan, Baluchistan is an important province to our country. It is sensitive in regards to our national security. It is said that Chabahar and Sistan, Baluchistan are the forefront of Iran's national security, and that's very true. Chabahar has become a kind of political Bermuda Triangle, where the normal rules of America's hostile Iran policy don't seem to apply. In fact, where Iran sits on the map, some experts say, makes it impossible for the United States to keep up sanctions for much longer. Iran's influence in the region is not ignorable. Iran can influence the whole security apparatus in the region. So if Iran does not collaborate with Americans or the other parties, Europeans in the region, the problem in the region would be much more, much more complicated and much more costly for the Americans. And this is a very good reason to let Iran to have the Chabahar. The port is on the Gulf of Oman, near the mouth of the Strait of Hormuz, where flashpoints between the U.S. and Iran are common. The Revolutionary Guards routinely make public displays of military strength. And in June 2019, Iran shot down a U.S. Global Hawk surveillance drone over what it says was Iranian waters. The two sides may have converging interests in Afghanistan. Both want stability and to see U.S. troops out. But there are still tensions that have been simmering for years and a lot to work past. The old American embassy in Tehran was renamed the Den of Espionage Museum. It's an ever-present reminder of the broken relationship between the United States and the Islamic Republic of Iran. But despite decades of animosity and no direct diplomatic representation in each other's countries, there are still a few examples of quiet cooperation. Recent prisoner exchanges between the two were a significant step in the same direction. After 9-11, Iran was instrumental in helping the U.S. topple the Afghan Taliban and set up a new government. And in Chabahar, America and Iran are cooperating on Afghan reconstruction, albeit indirectly. Examples of meaningful cooperation in the region serve as a kind of open door that experts say could be opened a little wider and perhaps bring both sides back to the negotiating table. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.